All right, good morning, second grade students. Today, we are going to be looking at the book Antelope Woman, which is an Ap Apache folktale, which is retold and illustrated by Michael LaCappa, who is the author of The Flute Player, and that's the book that we will be looking at tomorrow. Listen, my son, as we go to hunt today, let me tell you of the people who lived here long ago and why we honor all things around us, great and small. Here in this valley, the people lived, and among the people was a beautiful young woman, a strong worker. She knew how to gather berries early in the morning and how to gather wood for their family. She also knew how to make strong baskets. You see, she was very special. Young men from other villages would come to see her and try to get her attention by walking in front of her with their horses, bows, and arrows, and colorful shirts and shoes, but they did not interest her. One day, a young man who was not like the other young man came to the village. He came to talk to all the people in the village. He went to the men, sat down, and began telling them of ways in which to hunt and protect their families. He said, when hunting, remember to respect all things great and small. In the evening, he left. The next morning, when the young woman got to gather wood and berries, he saw the young man helping an elderly man make a bow. He said, this is how to make it stronger, and remember, as you hunt with this bow, respect all things great and small. The older man agreed, and the young woman too. Later that evening, the young man left the village. No one knew when he left or where he had gone. The next day, he returned. The young woman saw him helping a woman carry water from the river. As they walked, the young man told the woman, we must even honor the water, for it flows down from the mountains to nourish the plants. It nourishes our brothers, the animals. It also nourishes us, the people. We must respect all things great and small. The young woman knew when the young man left the village that day, she would follow him and watch where he went. As he walked from the village at the end of the day, he knew the young woman had been watching him, and he let her follow. Soon he came to a patch of bushes and trees. There he disappeared. The young woman ran quickly to see where he had gone. Just as she reached the trees, she saw him jump through four hoops, and then something happened. Looking back at her, the young man nodded, but she noticed he was not a man anymore. He was an antelope. He motioned for her to follow him, and she did. She began to go through the hoops, one after another. As she jumped through the fourth one, she felt herself changed. Then the young man told her, You must come with me. I will teach you so you too can tell the people to honor all things great and small. The young man and woman walked to a pool of deep water. On the far side of the water were more antelope, who began talking to the young man in a different language. For, you see, they were his people, the antelope. The young woman felt thirsty and began to drink. As she looked into the water, she saw her reflection. She was no longer a woman, but an antelope. The young man said, you must come with me. I will show you why we must be thankful for all things. Then he called to her, Come here, quickly, quickly. Suddenly all the antelope were running. They ran until they came to a patch of prickly pear cactus, and then they ran through it. The young woman was surprised to find she could somehow step through the prickly pear without hurting her feet. She looked, be she looked behind her and saw the coyote who had been chasing them. He looked hungry and angry because he could not get them through the cactus. The young man said to her, See, we must be thankful for the sharp prickly pear because it gives us protection from those who wish to have us. 
It is good to honor all things great and small. After the coyote, coyote left, the young woman was happy and thankful. When the herd began running again, quickly and gracefully, she was thankful that she too could run and jump across the plain, through the high grass, and over bushes and small trees. Then she thought of her family. Her family! While learning about things for which to be thankful, she had forgotten her family and her people. She said to the young man, We must return to the people and share this knowledge with them. The young man agreed. The next day, they returned through the hoops, were changed back into people, and entered the village. The young man carried with him many gifts, deer hides, jewelry, beads, corn, bows, and arrows, and many colorful stones. He brought these gifts for the young woman's family, for he was to marry her. The young woman's mother was excited to see her daughter. For you see, time had passed and the people had been very worried about her. She told her parents that she and the young man were to be married. The family agreed by accepting his gifts. Soon the young couple married and stayed in the village. The people were happy, for the young man showed them many things that would help them through the long cold winters and the hot dry summers. He showed them ways to live and ways to learn. During this time, the young woman became pregnant and gave birth. The young man was proud of his children, a boy and a girl. But because they were twins, the people did not accept them. The young, cu the young couple felt sad and began to talk. The young father said, Remember when we ran together with the family? It was special. You knew at the time it was important to honor the family. Now you must honor our family by going where we will be accepted. We are not like your people and they do not accept us. My people will accept us because they have learned how to honor the family in all things great and small. With that, the young mother agreed. She told her parents that she would have to go with her husband to his village. The people watched the young family walk to the place of the four hoops. After the young couple passed through the hoops, they were never seen again. Since then, we have learned to honor all things great and small. So today, my son, we honor the antelope by never hunting or killing them. For out there among the antelope are antelope women and her children, and they are a part of us. Now as we hunt, my son, we must be thankful to the Creator who gives us all things great and small and who teaches us to honor them all. And the story ends here. All right, and that is our book today, The Antelope Woman. And tomorrow we will be looking at the other book that Michael LaCappa um, retold and illustrated, which is The Flute Player.